this beat was specifically made for Tekka, and it's like one of the few times where I actually made a beat directly for the artist. I just tweeted it out. I was like, yo, I want to do a tape of Lil Tekka, and then he just hit me back. He's like, oh, let's do it. I'm like, oh, damn, this happened in like 10 minutes. He teased Ransom on his Instagram, and like, since then, everybody was like, drop Ransom, drop Ransom, drop Ransom. The night that the song was made, Taz and Tekka, they did six songs together at the Internet Money House. I just played them back over and over. I was like, these are hard, these are fire. I know that I'm gone. They see me blowing up, now they say they want song. I got two twin blocks, turn you to a dancer. I see two twin eyes, leave them on a band. And I got two thick thighs, wanna link the game. I got red, I got blue, what you want? The Chanel, but let's see, I got Louis and Vuitton. Taz went on Twitter and he's like, I want to do a tape with this kid Lil Tekka. And I didn't know who he was at the time. I thought he was crazy. I thought he was super talented and like everything. So I was like, I want to help out. I want to be a part of that too. So, you know, whatever you need from me, you know, just let me know. I like to be labeled as a full producer, but like in this situation, I was kind of just a beat maker. I gave it to Taz and Tekka and Taz was like the real producer behind the track. He orchestrated like the whole thing. He got Tekka on it. January 3rd, Tekka's flying out and he's in my house. I'm ringing Nick. Nick's in the kitchen making toaster strudels and I tell him the type of beats I need. I'm like really up tempo melodic beats. He's like, all right, Ben, I'm gonna cook something. But I told him to keep it bare so we can go in afterwards. And like, if we need to add something in, add something in. I knew I wanted to have like a bell or a piano, something that was it was easy to remember. And first off, I made this simple uh, bass pattern. So that's how I started the melody, really. After I get those root notes down, I like to go up and build the chords. Now I played it on my MIDI keyboard originally, and then I went in FL Studio and then I clicked it in. I thought it was a little dry, but I still liked it. So I went in and I added this synth key behind it, but I took the same notes and I just um, copied and pasted them on a new pattern. After I did that, I did a shift D, you know, FL Studio shortcut. You can shorten all these notes and just make them like little stabs. A tip for producers, you know, you use two sounds or, three, or just stack your hooks. So then when a verse comes, you can take them out and the listener won't really know what's gone, but you know, you can definitely feel it. I felt like the melody really carried the groove. So I wanted to keep the drums like stupid simple. So I just have a two-step hi-hat pattern. Most of these sounds I used, they're all from my kits that I have on wavesupply.net. I have like almost a hundred kits. After I had the hi-hat and the melody going, I just added a clap on top of it. I went in and I added this open hat from my boy DT, AKA side piece. Added this little background snare and uh, I'm gonna play it with the metronome so you can hear where it really hits. So then that playing with the rest of the drums or the percussion I have here. If I don't start off doing my drums with the 808 and I start with my percussion, the uh, 808 will come last and then I'll just fill it in with the beat. I went to the um, the melody I wrote in and I held control, left click, you know, copied the, the root notes and then I pasted them on an 808 channel. Producers, tune your 808s. When I added the kicks on top of it, I kept it in the same pattern, but I took some out where the 808 was hitting just for extra bounce. In the verse, I don't have the bells until the end, like there's a little bridge, but the keys just play by themselves. And this song just proves you don't need an insane beat with like 80 sounds just to make a hit. I didn't think it was done in my head. Like I thought there could be something more, but usually when I think that, it's really the artist's voice that, you know, completes the song as a whole. So, I mean, I just did the simple beat with like eight sounds in it really, and it just got the job done. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside of ghost and hop up in a fan on. I know I'm about to blow, oh, oh, when you done? They try to take my floor, I take their ass for ransom. I know that I'm gone. The thing with ransom is like, Jack would come upstairs, they be like, what do you think of this? And I go down and listen to it. I'm like, nah, we got to move this here. We got to do this right here. Like put the hook right here. Bring the hook back in around here. Because you know, he's like a kid. He's never did like 
actual production of a song like mapping it out structure all that stuff he has a weird way of just like his wordplay with words and shit ride or die he said die right i'm like what does this even mean tekka's voice is like the main instrument on the song like if he had a monotone voice on it it would be like it wouldn't be the song it is like he could just be like I got two twin blocks turning into a dancer, and it'd be like so boring, but he has that ear for like melody and like singing on it. I think what made it special is just, you know, a mix of everything. It's the internet money side, just all of us coming together to like build up one thing. And then also Tekka just doing what he does and adding his flavor to it as well. There's some artists who we work with, like Juice was another one. It's just like whenever they're on our beat, something crazy magical happens and you just can't control it. Tekka is one of those artists. I know that I'm gone. They see me blowing up, now they say they want some. I got two twin blocks, turn you to a dancer. I see two twin eyes, leave them on a band. On. I got two thick thighs, wanna let the gang, yeah. The original name of the beat was Bussin. Because I think I saw something like about bussing tables. And like, I don't know. I, I name my beats like stupid things. Like just, I'll see a word in the room, like, I'll see a water bottle. I just call it the brand of the water. I'll see a book and it'd be like, book. Like, I don't really put thought into naming my beats. 